Greetings my fellow God Eaters, my name is Eddie and this is a God Eater 2 Rage Burst Sniper Rifle Weapon Guide. I hope you enjoy. And for starters, the Sniper Rifle is a gun part specialized for sharpshooting. This gun can use long distance high speed sniper rifle rounds. Adding on, this weapon does piercing damage and origami weak to it will take even more damage to it. The secondary function of the sniper rifle is called the stealth field. And what the stealth field does, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. What it really does is it takes its oracle cells and it just forms a stealth field around you, making you invisible to any origami. Unfortunately, if the origami already has its eyes on you, you cannot use this ability. Like at that point, if the origami is already looking at you like the, you know, you fucked up right eyes, yeah, you can't use the stealth field until you get out of combat again. Sorry. And I believe that covers the basics. Now I'm going to go into some bullets that I did make, but I did really copy those from the wiki. And if you go to the wiki, yeah, the credit is all there. None of these bullets that I'm showing off here are of my own creation. I did try making a canceller bullet, but honestly, with the time that I was given actually making bullets, it was the best I could do. Well, what the bullet does is it hits them. The first shot lowers their defense, and the second one uh, cuts off their attack, they like their ability to do attacks. Uh, the blood chip that I have actually allows them, allows, well, allows the sniper rifle round to cancel any attack that they may be doing at that time. Uh, the blood bullets that actually come from leveling up this weapon that you get playing the game, they're actually pretty solid, you know what I mean? Uh, like you can, like there's a particular blood chip called bond blocker, and what that does is actually weakens the bonds on the origami depending on where you hit them. Like say a Vajra, if you hit them in the head, it lowers their defense of the, it lowers the defense of the bonds on their head. And with some of the special bullets that I'm going to show you in this video, a lot of them utilized the ultra range blood chip, which increases the damage done depending on how far they go. And quite honestly, my bullets pale in comparison to these, so I'm just going to go ahead and start to show off these bullets to you guys now. This debuff bullet that I did obtain uh, from the wiki, like I said, uh, what this bullet does, it takes the bond blocker blood chip that I was talking about earlier, and, I apl and it applies every debuff in the game to be put on the Argon, lowering their bonds, inflicting them with poison, bind, and hold. It's a very effective bullet that can be used at on any origami at any place. And please feel free to pause the video so you can get this recipe down. Another popular bullet that I did obtain from the wiki is called the loot bullet. Uh, what it does, I believe it takes the ultra range blood chip and it takes a lot of decorative lasers which will orbit in place well orbit into a circle coming back to hit them again this bullet and a lot of other bullets you will probably be better off playing online with someone to get as they already have it made and making it from scratch well you can be prone to messing it up a lot nonetheless it is a very effective bullet and I have it right here to go back through it again just so you guys can see it and get this recipe down. And next on this crazy ass agenda of godlike bullets is the IOD bullet. What this does is it uses the ultra range blood chip and it uses sphere and devour to maximize damage and you're supposed to use this on targets that are standing still. Uh, what you can do is you can take the sphere and the devour blood chip and you can replace that with a clinging orb in case your opponent likes to move around a lot. The point I'm referring to is uh, module 2. When one hits the orb stop with the devour chip, you are supposed to replace that with just an orb that clings to it when your uh, module 1 bullet hits your target. And this is that part of the video where I'm going to show you this bullet and you can get the recipe down from here. And last but not least on this awesome list of weapons, we are going to do the Mole Pentabomb made for the Sniper Bullet. And what this Pentabomb does, it's, it's like the Meteor for the Blast Gun that we will cover in a future video. 
but because of the ultra range, it goes underground instead of above ground to hit its target. It actually takes away the negative aspects of making a meteor bullet. No, oh my goodness, my pronoun. The beauty of it going underground is compared to the normal meteor bullet. The normal meteor bullet can hit the wall, but since this pentabomb bullet goes underground, there is no wall to accidentally hit when you shoot this into the air if you're making a normal meteor bullet. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed these. I'm going to put some gameplay in the background using all these bullets. But something to know now, two things. My sniper rifle at the time of this video was not at the highest rank. So, of course, my numbers are a lot lower. And also adding on, I will post the page where I got these bullets from in the description below. Uh, if you go to the God Eater 2 wiki page and look at the bullet creations, there's a lot of them there. Uh, most of them for the blast gun, of course, but I was able to make uh, find a few gems from that page alone. But I hope you enjoy and enjoy the gameplay in the background, and I hope you like the video.